All right, what's going on guys? So we just got some really big information about Elden Ring that I'm sure will get a lot of people excited. So you can actually now pre-order Elden Ring. It's actually listed as a product on Amazon and a bunch of other retailers right now. So this means this isn't kind of a one-off thing. This is an actual listing for the product that you can actively pre-order. Now, when you go on Amazon and you search Elden Ring, the first thing that's gonna pop up is the game for PlayStation 4. That's right, PlayStation 4, not PlayStation 5. So that means this game is going to be cross-generation for both PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, and PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. I know there were a lot of people wondering if this was going to be the case for the game, but this does confirm the fact that this will be a cross-generational game. And I bet a lot of people are going to be really happy about hearing that. So if you scroll down to the bottom of the listing, it actually has a release date on it. It says this item will be released on December 31st, 2021. Now this is 99% a placeholder date. And, but the fact that this is even a listing pretty much guarantees that this will be released before that time. So I wouldn't really be looking at that, but I would be checking back regularly to see if this changes at all. So this was first brought to my attention by one of my subscribers who lives in Greece. He said one of the most prominent, prominent retailers for video games in that area was actually running ads for this game and advertising the pre-order for Elden Ring. So that's another very important aspect of this is the fact that they're actually doing promotions and marketing to get the product out there. So what this says to me is that this pretty much solidifies the fact that we're going to see this at the Game Awards next month. Just with all this information that's been coming out recently about the game being played by Phil Spencer and the fact that the rumors suggesting we'll see it at the next gaming event, I think it's very, very likely that we're going to get some gameplay at the Game Awards or at least another trailer or something like with a release date because they're doing pre-orders. Typically, they don't start doing pre-orders until after we have a release date at least or some gameplay footage. But the fact that they're doing this now is really telling that we're going to get one of those things at the Game Awards. But I just wanted to make this quick little video update for you guys because I haven't heard anybody else talking about this right now. And this is pretty much all the information we have right now, but it is a great indicator that we're about to get a lot of new information about the game. So I think now is the time to get excited because I think we're going to have a lot of stuff coming out. I'll definitely be watching the Game Awards to see if we get a trailer or some gameplay for Elden Ring. But if you want to stay updated, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below because I'll be covering all the new Elden Ring news and updates and I'll be relaying it straight to you guys. And until then, I'll catch you in the next video. I let a test drive out in the west side. She get my best side. Girl, I know you see it coming on your timeline. You're just like fun wine.